Hey guys, my name is Fazetti. Welcome back to my channel. In the last episode, we killed the dragon and I got some wings. So very, very excited. These are the original wings I had. These are my fourth pair because I keep on dying. So one of the reasons I'm excited and in conjunction with 1.15 is I can just take off. So that is really, really, that's something I've never been able to do before because I play in Australia on most of the servers that I would play on are in America. So the ping is not very good, but now they've fixed that up so I can take off effortlessly. It is so, so good. So in today's episode, as the sun goes down, so we're gonna have to get onto it quickly, is I'm going to make a carrot farm. So whilst the sun's going down, let's just race downstairs. If I can get the right view, that's the one I want. We race downstairs, I've already got the bits and pieces I need. So I hollowed this out a little bit. If you remember that area there was probably still there. So I've hollowed him out. I've got a few holes in the roof. I've got a big hole in the roof there. So this is where I think I'm going to put the farm. And initially I was gonna do the old one of having rails run around underneath. And there's probably no reason to do that one anymore. It's like you end up with these noises like I'm getting over here. So they're just annoying and it's extra stress on the server or whatever. So I'm going to do the one where there's two villagers. We've got our suspects over here. And one of them just stands there screaming out for food. The other one goes and becomes a farmer and gives him all the food. So that is what we're planning. So these are all the bits I'm needing. I've got some dirt some initial carrots to plant. Um, we won't be needing that because we're not doing the rail version anymore. Some lighting, I don't know which way I'll go one of those ways. We need a composter to convert one of them over to a, a farming villager. I've got some glass to put around the edge, some chests to put everything in, a slab, to, anyway, we'll go through all this and a hop of mine carts to capture everything. So this is where I'm gonna put it and you go out four blocks and there's gonna be an extra block I'm going to put a wall around here as well, just in case I ever expand out. So I will, you know, have room to grow. So what do I need first? Probably some dirt, maybe that, that, that. And yeah, I'll do that as well. Let's get rid of all this other stuff that I don't need. I don't need pumpkins. Uh, I do need you, but I want you there. And the slab and some water. All right, so this is where our water's gonna go. And I've got instant mine on this, which is probably gonna be a bit of a nuisance, but uh, I'm gonna have to dig down one anyway. Let me just quickly switch off the instant mine and I'll dig down one level to put the dirt in and I'll be back. So this is our area that we're going to uh, build the farm on. So putting some water in there and then putting a slab over the top just to make it sort of neat. And I'm thinking possibly when I put this down, one of them, sounds good. One of those guys will turn into a farmer. There he is, the closest one turned into the farmer. So he's probably interested in coming over. Let me, whilst we are here, Hopefully I've got enough to get through the whole thing with my hoe. Jill just tilled the ground and put in apparently a torch there. Um, what did I say? I'm going to put in the carrots and I'm going to make another hoe. New hoe in hand. Let's just finish this off. and I am going to plant carrots and put a wall around. Okay, so just finishing up the glass wall, I've put some stone just in the corners because I had plenty of it lying around. And over here is where our second villager is gonna go in. So I'm probably gonna have to get one of them in there. Pretty soon, the farmer one will probably need to go in. I'll get some rails, which I think I put away. And I planted all the carrots that I had that's not quite full co coverage. 
So the next step is, I think I will go and struggle with these guys and get one of them in here. And I also need to get the hopper minecarts in this area here with a hopper underneath. So we can probably do that. Where's it gone here? So I've got some hoppers. Let's just stick. I'm going to need rails though. Let me come back. Dug down. It's a bit nasty down here. There's uh, pretty sure the witch is down here somewhere. So I'm going to have to block this off. But at some point, the idea will be that these carrots will um, funnel into the storage area downstairs. So the the chests I put downstairs, we're not really going to have to go there too often, but probably initially we will. So I'll just block that out, light it up a little bit more. In fact, let me i got some chests in here. I'll just put a couple of chests down. I think I want to go down one further. Maybe here. I need to get rid of that block. I'll stick a double chest in here. And another one over them. Right there. Okay, so I've got some rails. Let's... um. Pop a rail on top of that, and then I'm going to need both of them and possibly another one of them. I always have a habit of taking the blocks I'm most likely going to need next and getting rid of them. Is this how they work? Or can I just put one on top? No, okay, I think I'm gonna have to take this one out of so there. You can sit still and maybe now I can put how do I get a second one on okay I think I've worked it out we put a block there and put the rail on top of the block etc etc so let's try that Pick a rail there put him there and if we break this block there you go and I'll just need to put something over the top there. I don't know if a slab will work or maybe a trapdoor. I haven't got a trapdoor, so let's try a slab. That may block his view. I think we need a trapdoor. Okay, so I just quickly made a trapdoor and we will put it there. So the other guy, I'm going to have to put all this back. out a way of getting in there so one of them is going to sit in here and I'll just rail him in and the farmer one out there let me quickly get them in there and then we'll we'll see if this works okay so villager one is in and just for the time being I'm just having this little system here when I can sneak underneath the slab Let's see if we can, um, I might switch the hitboxes on just so I don't hit him. All right. So he can look after his crops and now I'll just get this guy sitting in here and we're looking pretty good. So I just noticed that he is planting a lot more than he picked up and it might be carrots. I think when he spent time in his little breeder over there, yeah, he must have picked up some carrots while he was there. So that's the button I wanted. So that's fine. He had some carrots on him and he can plant away. All right. So here comes the next guy. He's in no rush. Hopefully this works. I don't think I'm going to keep him in his minecart, but there he goes. He's in. I might try and take him out of his minecart, but let me just pretty up this area a little bit and we'll see what it looks like. But his little friend is interested in chatting to him.
Well, that didn't quite go to plan, but anyway, it went sort of the plan in the end. So everything is there and these should start producing carrots. All I need now is a way down to get to my chest. I noticed over here that this one right here, when it grew, it broke. So I think we don't have enough light over here. So I've chucked out these extra sea lanterns. Although I didn't think that was a thing anymore, but maybe it is. But anyway, more light, the better. So don't really need him there anymore. I went and bone mealed up quite a bit. So we've got full coverage now. This guy is getting some inventory. So I'm not sure what time of day he goes and um, starts chatting to this one, but I'll stand here and we should see him throw some food at him. And then it will end up down here. I've just put a little trap door to here and hopefully carrots will end up in here once he throws them because they never actually make it to this villager here. So he came over and I wasn't sure if he had thrown some food at him, but I went down and had a bit of a cheeky look and we have 34 carrots in here. So that looks like it is working well and he might be throwing more. You don't really get to see them being thrown. Uh, let's see if there's more than 34. Ah, still the same. So farm finished. These things are stackable. I don't know if I'm going to put, I might be able to squeeze in a potato farm above. So the reason that I am building this is these are good for golden carrots. So I'm sick of making cows <laughs> to, to cook. So we'll probably be using these for golden carrots. I put a, the world's worst gold farm in the nether using the turtle egg trick. So it does get a bit of gold, but nowhere near enough. We might need to revisit that. But the other thing we can use these for is trading with villagers. So at some point downstairs, I'm going to have a little tr villager trading area. So these carrots will come in handy and I will probably put in another level with potatoes. Well, I couldn't help myself. I had to make another level to the farm. So up here, some nastiness happening upstairs. I think it might be just becoming daylight. So up here we have a potato farm. And we have a, a villager here helping us out. And when you add the second layer, you need to have a way for the items to get down. So we've just got a return shoot down there. And I've got some chests. This is where I would put all my stuff while I was AFK because there was no way I was going to die again. And as you can see, it's been a little while. It's been a couple of days. Happy New Year, by the way. It's the third here. So Happy New Year, everyone. We are filling up quite quickly. So we'll be able to do some trading with the villagers. So this is happening quite well. I do have some form of an infestation. I filled in my hole in the roof. But um, yeah, that is... That is it for these. I think the next thing I might do is a potato farm. So that will definitely be in the next episode. Well, that'll do me for my first video for 2020. So I hope everyone had a happy new year and the rest of the year is great for you all. I am going to try and do some streaming. So I don't have a schedule. It'll be a little bit ad hoc. So just remember to subscribe to my Twitter and Twitch. There'll be some contact bits at the end and you'll get notified when I'm about to go live. You can come and join in and give me some advice. So remember, if you like this video, please hit that like button. That helps me out a lot. And please consider subscribing as well if you want to see more content from me. Hit that little bell to get notifications and I will see you in the next video. Bye.